boys and girls. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the bell so you uh, get the notifications and then we, uh, we can start. Now in this video, I am currently sat in front of Mini. You are balanced very gently. Ignore the horn. You are balanced very gently on top of um, Ron on his uh, folding tailgate. Now it turns out Ron is a bit more of a, uh, a workhorse than we originally thought. He pretty much does everything. He is basically the shop truck. If I'm not using him, Dad's using him. And we've used him so much since the MOT, and since we uh, did the, re the, the engine rebuild, uh, that he's almost due a service already. Says a lot. But anyway, the reason why I'm, fr I'm sat in front of, uh, of Mini is because uh, that micro I told you about uh, in the last video and the little short before, uh, the potential of a K10 that had gone, which it had. Uh, but then, this became available. Originally it was going to somebody else, but it's now come up available. And uh, I have taken up that opportunity. So, welcome to my next micro. Yeah, so I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be taking uh, Mini on. Uh, I'm gonna do a retro look with her. So basically, pretty much standard but lower. And the wheels are gonna be a different color and they're gonna sort of sparkle and look really pretty. Probably some white walls as well to go with the retro style. Um, the hubcaps that are on there are coming off. I will be taking those off today. Um, and the wheels behind are the originals and they've got the original center caps as well. So the wheels are gonna be a different color but the center caps are more than likely gonna stay silver. Maybe a brighter silver, I might spray them up. Uh, but apart from lowering her and painting the wheels up, basically how she sits now is how she's going to be. Maybe a bit of bodywork here and there. Uh, tartar up a bit. But, you know, keeping her as original as possible. Well, I could keep her at standard height, but that's the whole point of this channel, is uh, to do modifications as well as other stuff. So keeping a car standard isn't part of my vocabulary. Apparently the word vocabulary isn't in my vocabulary either. But anyway... Uh, you can see that she has a sticker on the back saying Microdot. That's because it's a particular model and it's now rare. Uh, we believe there is less than 30-ish left um, on the UK. Uh, maybe on the road. I think there are a few that are sawn. But because it's a Micro, most of them have been scrapped. It's unfortunate. But hey-ho, uh, it means that this one means a lot more to most people. Um... She is a one litre auto, so she's got the CVT gearbox. Uh, she's a pre-facelift, um, so that means she's got the distributor engine rather than the uh, coil pack engine like Mini, like, like uh, the other micro, Mickey. You know, like Mickey's got. He's got a coil pack engine, but don't forget what I said in um, his review, that he is the second micro to, to hold that name. The first one, had a, had a distributor engine like this, which was a W Ridge. This is a 1995 to 1996 car. He was a 2000 car. Now the, the new one, or the new one with the name, is a 51 plate. Um, what else is there to say? Well, um, what I could say is, uh, if you haven't subscribed, like I told you at the beginning, if you could, and here's a... Uh, a little reason why. I'm going to show you a tiny little VT of what we've done in the past year and a bit, almost two years. It'll be two years in June. going and this car featured in the first ever video uh, if you're interested to see that be aware that my editing skills have improved dramatically since then they're not great now but they have improved dramatically uh, that video the first one was terrible but it's something to look back at is where you start from 
So go watch that. It's when we go and pick this car up. Obviously, it was my sister's car. Uh, it's now going to be mine. Uh, the Chrysler, that is still going. So that's going to be going on eBay. Um, once the MOT is done, which hopefully I can get the MOT booked um, in the next week or so. Waiting for funds. So yeah, keep an eye out on the channel uh, for more of this. Uh, more of the, the retro build part of it all. It's only going to be a very short period of time. Um, the Rover, which you can't see over there, that is uh, awaiting uh, parts and stuff. And then once that's all done, that can be MOT'd and then sold on. Uh, but that's not up to me, that's up to Dad, because that's his car. But it is sat in the, gar in the, in the garage. Aren't we lucky? We've got garages, don't we? We've got a container uh, in the container over there. And the, the rest of the, uh, the fleet will be in a later update. But what I'm doing today, apart from filming, is uh, giving the interior a more of a deep clean. I've brought some uh, uh, products down with me. I've brought a hoover down because it needs a hoover. And we'll go from there. So, yeah. This is the micro I was on about. It's good to keep a rare car going. Doesn't seem like a rare car because it's a micro, there's loads of them. But it's the, it's the model because it's, it's micro dot. And yeah, so a uh, little bit of me um, stumbling, waffling, um, being cold because it is cold. I'm still wearing shorts, but it's cold. Um, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, not much else to say. Uh, my brain is going to, you are cold now. Um, do something else and get off your ass. So, <laughs> subscribe, like, share, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.